Gators continue harassing Iman Kelly after she shares stunning transformation. After her gold medal triumph at the 2024 Paris Olympics, Algerian boxer Iman Kelly debuted a completely different appearance in a new video shared on social media. The 25-year-old athlete captured the world's attention when she clinched gold at the Paris Games, all while navigating a storm of controversy. Her participation in the competition sparked heated gender debates, but she was staunchly defended by the International Olympic Committee, IOC. Highlights Iman Kilif, Algerian boxer, won gold at the 2024 Paris Olympics amid controversy. She faced criticism from high-profile figures like Elon Musk and Donald Trump questioning her gender. Iman does not identify as transgender and was born female. The Algerian sports star has filed a cyber harassment lawsuit, naming individuals including J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk. In the new video shared on Instagram, Iman showcased her prowess by throwing punches at the camera. She then threw in a surprise by transitioning to a clip of herself dressed in a floral outfit. The look was complete with matching earrings, pink eyeliner, and lip gloss. She flashed a bright smile and proudly displayed the Olympic gold medal she won after defeating China's Yang Liu. Algerian boxer Iman Kilif clinched gold at the Paris Games after navigating a storm of controversy. Fans showered her with praises, with one calling her the people's princess and another saying she is the gorgeous queen. A tie in here. Real woman and I never had doubt she is a woman. One comment said, her beauty is unique. I love that pretty smile without any trace of makeup that radiates all the sun. She's what actually I consider a beautiful woman. Another wrote, absolutely beautiful. An ALL support from USA here, period and everyone else to include the hating out and men just jealous they can't hit as hard. However, some critics still dialed up the hate, saying harsh words like she is still a boy. Trolls left remarks like still man bro and are you kidding? We don't believe you in the comments section. A man is a man, even in makeup a man is a man. Another said, the 25-year-old athlete debuted a completely new look, complete with pink eyeliner and lip gloss, in a new video. Mom's Olympic journey captured worldwide interest, especially after her first-round match against Italy's Angela Carini, who surrendered just 46 seconds after the match began. I've never been hit like that before, she said. The controversy escalated as notable figures like CEO Elon Musk and former President Donald Trump raised doubts about the boxer's gender. She had previously faced disqualification from a different event, leading to widespread controversy. The International Boxing Association, IBA, had barred her and another competitor, Lim Yuting of Taiwan, from the 2023 World Championship, but the IOC stood firm in their support of her. The IBA, a Russian-led organization that the IOC no longer associates itself with, had held a press conference but failed to clear up the confusion over their gender eligibility test. Fans showered her with praises, with one calling her the people's princess and another saying she is the gorgeous queen. The governing body claimed that they detected XY chromosomes in samples of both athletes. The tests show they were men. IBA President Mark Krimlev claimed during the press conference, we don't verify what they have between their legs. We don't know if they were born like that or if some changes were made. Contrary to the accusations, Amon does not identify as transgender and was born a female. She admitted experiencing immense fear after high-profile figures like Elon and Rowling made remarks about her gender. When swimmer Riley Gaines shared a tweet saying, men don't belong in women's sports, Elon reshared the post and said, absolutely. Meanwhile, the Harry Potter author shared a picture from the Algerian boxer's match with Angela and accused the winner of being a man enjoying the distress of a woman he's just punched in the head. The Algerian sports star said she was afraid because of the uproar about her gender, saying, affected me a lot, it hurt me a lot. I can't describe to you the amount of fear I had. She described her well-earned victory as a form of men reveling in their power over women. As for Donald Trump, he also shared a photo and said, I will keep men out of women's sports. The former president, currently in the running for a second term in the White House, misgendered Iman as he on other occasions as well. The gold-winning Olympian said she has been affected by all the uproar from big figures. Elon Musk, 
Trump, this thing that affected me, I'm not lying to you, it affected me, she was quoted saying in an interview. It affected me a lot, it hurt me a lot. I can't describe to you the amount of fear I had, she said. I was afraid that I would say, why did Mon Khalif insist on this? Why was there an uproar from big politicians around the world? I was afraid, but thank God I was able to overcome the stage thanks to the specialists who helped me overcome the stage, she added. The gold-winning Olympian has filed a cyber harassment lawsuit that includes names like J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk. She had also expressed her gratitude to people who stood by her throughout the ordeal. The scenario was very scary. Thank God, all the people of Algeria and the Arab world knew Mom Khalif with her femininity, her courage, her will, she said. For all the emotional turmoil she went through, Ahmad is now seeking justice through a lawsuit filed with French authorities. She is named Rowling and Elon in the cyber harassment lawsuit. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk are named in the lawsuit. Among others, Nabil Boudi, Ahmad's Paris-based attorney, told Variety, the stars could face hefty fines and possibly even a prison sentence if the Olympic champion comes out victorious on the other side of the lawsuit. Trump tweeted, so whether or not he is named in our lawsuit, he will inevitably be looked into as part of the prosecution, he added. Although the lawsuit was filed in France, it could target personalities overseas. The lawyer said it noted that the prosecutor's office for combating online hate speech has the possibility to make requests for mutual legal assistance with other countries. What we're asking is that the prosecution investigates not only these people, but whoever it feels necessary. If the case goes to court, it will stand trial, he added. Amid the backlash, a number of fans have backed him on with unwavering support throughout the ordeal. How do you feel about the controversy surrounding Iman Kellett's gender at the 2024 Olympics?